We have two Cayennes. Today we're gonna to be placing the windshield. This is the warning system. This one doesn't. Now this one has been placed in a body shop, but they have a cracked windshield or a stress crack. It's in the warranty because I think they stress the bracket when they put the mirror on. So today we're gonna to use two systems. I'm gonna use a Sidekick on this one and my Raptor. And this one I'm gonna use another kind of system. This is a, one of mine's right here. So I'm gonna use another one using the same suction cups from the side kit, but I made this one, so it's really simple. But this one, I'm gonna try to put the glue. Remember, that one, you have to set the glue on the body. And this one, I'm gonna try to put the glue on the glass, and it's gonna be a different system. So this one, you can reach the higher, it's gonna be very low or high, and this one is gonna keep the glass up with the B inside. So let's see, it works. If not, we're gonna set that one on the pitch wheel again. All right, so we're ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna start working on my Raptor right here, okay? All right, let's see. You're gonna see a little bright light because uh, I am in front of this, um, in front of the, the light. So you're gonna see my camera a little difficult to see it. Let me see if I can put this one on the glass and you can see. Remember on this one, we're gonna use the line RC100. That one is for equalizer. That's gonna make you, uh, we use the line a couple, couple more times. So let's put this one here. Cause you're gonna see a, a bright light. Let's see if it's gonna work. I'm not sure. All right. Cause when I sit in front of the light, the, uh, the camera is gonna be more turning on. I already cleaned the glass, but still I feel like a little film, but I don't think it's something else except the, the glass. But I feel in something in. I don't know what it is. Uh, okay, let's we'll start making the cut. Stop. in my line over there so it's all right all right like that so i'm gonna go probably right here all right i'm gonna get careful with these wires there you go we go through careful with those one lines right here Go up a little bit more. That's breaking the clips, don't worry about it. You have to break those clips, it's okay. There you go. Okay, that one is like a stress right there. There you go. When you feel a little more stress, you can go low. Right there, make a little seconds. There you go. Sometimes it's got a little more glue right there in the corner. There you go. I'm gonna go all the way. Other side. I feel like an lamination, or the glue is really bad, something. I don't feel like the other times when the core is, is cutting the glue really nice and smooth. See, and some parts is tight, and other parts is really loose. Go all the way. Right there. Remember, the bin number is very important to be sure it's protected. Right there.
Okay, Michael, let's slide down a little bit. And, all right. So this one is done. And I charged this one uh, more than uh, three weeks and it still has a charge. So this is really low power consuming by this one. I always use my safety glasses it's just because it's a little dark here so I cannot use in front of the light the reflection on my glasses don't let me see anything so that's why I take them off there you go all right so this one so we don't you see what I told you about I was feeling something wrong with the glue you see it it's always coming in there's nothing here bad here there's nothing here yeah it was like definitely was replaced before they put a little little amount of glue I mean you you, you have the amount but this one was little little you see the difference the seal I don't say is bad but was too little and probably the chipping glue the chip glue okay guys so this one is ready and now let's go with this one so now let's gonna do the other one Okay, man. Let's go this one. Okay, this one is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be fast too. Um, on this one, we're gonna just start working on the corners. Okay, right here. Okay, so the deal here, we're gonna start turning and just cutting the you know the corners right here. And just pass to the other side, okay? So I'm gonna start making the cut. We're gonna go the same way. Okay, little time, remember? Got a lot of glue. This one has been replaced, so it has more glue than the other one. Right there, okay? And let's go the other side. And this one, sometimes you see it's too deep. We take the suction cup and we're gonna catch the wire, the line, and just run in right here. Okay, right there. Okay, and we're gonna continue cutting this one because this one is the bottom, remember? So we're gonna just lock that one. Sometimes you don't have to lock it, but sometimes you do. There you go. I'm a ratchet and we're gonna start continuing cutting. Remember this one doesn't have any warning so it's more easy comparing the bracket with the other one. Let's so just make sure it's not catching anything. Remember the corners have to be more tight. We're gonna pass this one right here, help a little bit in the corner with the pillar. Let's go down a little more right there. Okay, and now we're gonna pass, change the directions, open a little bit, and now you're gonna lock the, the second pole right there. Okay, and you're gonna make the turn, tie the other one. And now you're gonna start cutting that side. Right there. Remember when you uh, cut them with the fiber cut, uh, fiber lines is more a little more difficult than the metal. There you go. 
Okay. And that's all. Okay, guys, so we're going to make the other cut. As you see, two systems, the best are the same results, using the right techniques and the right ways, safe. Okay? So, you see how it's been replaced before, it's too much glue here, it's really too much to the right. You see when the glue catch and they, le they left a little wall on the side, too much here. Uh, this is the problem, sometimes when the glass man said this one, they put too much on one side and the other side. Maybe the car was set in a leaf maybe we don't know a lot of glue here but it's no big deal okay so i'm gonna clean my bees get my two glasses ready and we're gonna start setting the system you know uh using those two systems the sidekick and my sidekick on this side okay see you next side shot i mean to set the windshield we really wait six minutes and all this so it's already dry so remember we're gonna use on this one i'm gonna try to set the bee on my glass i'm gonna use a uh, you know the side kind of sidekick but then the it's gonna just hold the glass here, but it's gonna just keep my bee inside on this area. So it's gonna let me just set the glass with, in the co I mean the bee on the glass. On this one, we're gonna use the sidekick, and we're gonna use, put the glue on the body, okay? So we're gonna do two different systems, but almost the same. So let's start with, uh, let me see which one. Let's start with this one, okay? So everything is ready, my glue. So ready to set, let's do it. So this is the first time I'm gonna use this one. I see what So now this one is ready to set. I'm just looking something here. Let me see. Little bridge. There you go. So we're gonna set this one first. Then my support right there, and it's gonna do it. Careful with this wall right there. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna go remember, we go inside like this, which the bin number, set the top, and set your sides. So it looks good on this part. Okay. Let me get the section caps. the side and see what's going on so let's see the bee here you see right there the bee is not touching the part and here my bee is under so I think we're gonna be good because that one right there yeah it's very far you see, I don't know if you can see it but my bee is here and this one is holding right here so it's not gonna affect it so remember we're gonna just now pass 
this one over here now first what I'm doing I'm gonna take uh, this one off let it go down you see it didn't touch any part of the glue and now this one take them off and go and see there you go very very nice all right so let's set this one there you go set that one my glass moved a little bit because i never pushing down so that's why okay you see the space is nice and we can just go down expanding the glue a little bit I remember the system I use I need to test in another cars because all the cars they are different the highs are different so let's try in another cars expanding the groove you see the big expanding very nice push that release the section cut by accident pushing this one okay guys so looks very nice so I didn't have any problem you see it's very clean clean over there nothing here too okay so now it's time to set the other one but the other one remember there we're gonna set the glue on the pitch well all right so see you next let's do it so but this one remember the glue has to be set on the pitch well Alright, just careful with this one because it's already open. Now let me show you something. Remember you have to run your inspection. Okay, let me let me show you what I'll find. Let me remove this one. Look at the dashboard here. You can see all the dashboard here is like a little wavy or something is under here. I don't know what it is, but this is this is a brand new truck. So that's why you have to be prepared when you inspect your car because you can find things like that, okay? But if you don't report it. The people are gonna think you did it okay you damage or you you uh, you put something on the dashboard or something like that okay so that's why you have to get very careful when you are working inside so remember i'm not sitting on my dashboard it's just my legs supporting my my weight i'm gonna start here because i don't want to make bridge on the top you gotta sit the glue on the pitch wheel remember this one's going and the pitch wheel when you use the regular sidekick so we're ready to set remember we're gonna just put this on positions right here this one you gotta turn it because if now i'm gonna hit the um the sunroof it's gonna be in the second right here the second one remember just holding this one like this careful with your back and the top right there got the wall careful right there i remember i'm going to the second one first i have to reach my bin number right there so it's gonna be the second one there and scroll there before you get it down just make sure you get the pin number and alignment and just leave it right there okay um i bet it passed more than five minutes so you can take this one that glue attached really nice the p2g is very really, very fast now with this weather humid and heat it's faster when it's winter and it's low temperature but even with the high humidity it's not bad it's not it's not bad but when you have low humidity and heat it's bad or cold and not humidity so you have to get humid to get this one faster ah. This one, this one, and set. So I'm in, pushing down, go up. Go 
down. You are too high, just go down a little bit, make a little room for the next time. On the next last man. Let's get you expanding. There you go. The number is fine. Okay, let's go inside. Be with the light, you don't see it, but you see it's nothing, it's very clean. That one is clean too, and nothing here. Okay guys, so we finished. So today we taste a raptor. That's my own system to cut out the weed and this one. Sure man. Okay, so we finished here. So let's gonna go to the next one and continue testing the other two. Let's see what happened, okay? See you next Another shot. one and it's the last one because today I cannot run all the videos because it got a lot of work. Sorry but my camera doesn't have the it's just 34 gigas so I cannot have the 64. So Okay, so now we're gonna set another one. Remember, this one is another version of the sidekick. This one you can rise, um, how high, well, you're gonna go very low, you can go more lower or higher. So this one now, does is gonna hold my glass here, but it's not gonna let the bead touch this area, so I can just run my glue on my glass. And this one, remember, um, the glass is like this, right? So you write this glass like this, this part is gonna, is gonna be more lower, right? So you go more down here, this part is going to be more higher. So depend how deep is going to be the pitch wheel, is how we're going to just write this one. We can go more, more higher, and this part is going to be more inclined, or we can go more lower, and that's going to give us the room for the B. So that depends on the, um, the pitch wheel, okay? So because some pitch wheels are more lower and higher, so that's the, that's the deal. Okay, so we're going to set now um, the B. All right, so let me just get my cooking ground because it's the last one. I had to go hurry because they're going to close the doors. So some, it's after five and they close at six. So still I have a 30 minutes more, so we're good. Now this glue, I think this is the last boxes I'm going to use because it's coming with a little shining. It looks like a grease, but it's not a grease, but it's because this one is going to expire in September. so. I never use glue with uh, when it's almost expired for you know two or three months. So I, I like to use another one. They have more than five months left. So uh, this one I don't know. I don't like how this is looking. I don't have any problem now, but in that part, it's like a little shiny stuff. I don't know. Is the same like the glue or something? But I don't have any problem now. But I don't like too much, and it's smelling more than before. So. You see this one? You see, it's like a little, no grease because it's a glue, but I don't know. Because you see, it's, it's, it's like a black stuff. I don't know what it is. I never saw it before. Because I didn't use one before. This one is the new one. But I think I'm going back to 428. If this thing is still got it, uh, it's going like this. Oh, I have to wait if I don't have any recoil. If I have any recall for this thing, I have to just, uh, you know, start thinking about the uh, change for a 428 just for now because the warehouse, they have all the glue they have for this one is going to expire in September. So they're going to try to just, you know, sell everything before that date. So and that's when the problems can happen because they're going to just go low on the price and many people are going to buy it, but I don't recommend buy glue when it's going to expire one month or two months. So, there you go. Okay. Because now I don't have any problem, but I don't want to have any in future. Future, I mean. Okay, so let's go. We're going to set that one, remember? We're going to reach our, um, our B number first. I like more this one because uh, I can put my bees in my glass. On my glass, I mean. So we go like this. Remember, we're gonna set here first, but we need to find the bin number first, right there. 
Now set, find the bin number, the other one, and set your corner. Okay, now you see, everything is aligning. So I got my bin number there. Let me get my suction cups. I found this shade behind this building because it's very hot. We are like 110, so it's too hot. here it's gonna go down it looks little this one because it's high when you go down you see it's closing right there hold that one right there so still we have a good distance now just move a little bit like there and it's going this part just hand first this one and you see so my B is perfectly over here, so I got the room, and over there is not touching my uh, my arm, a little piece of the arm right there. So let's take a look inside. I don't know if you can see it, uh, maybe not because it's too close my camera. But you see here, that's my B. I had all this space right here, so it's very nice. I like this one. And over there, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there, so it's not touching. So I removed my covers now, because I gotta run fast from here. Okay, so now we're gonna do, I'm gonna pass my suction cup, of course. This way. Now remember what I say, you rise this one, it's like I'm gonna make a test. If I go and rise, let me show you, and rise this part right here, that part is gonna be separate. If I go more lower, it's gonna touch. So that's why you gotta rise, this one, you, you the pitch wood is gonna be more lower or higher. Okay, you see, it's not in touch right there. And this one, if you want, touch it. This one, come on, come on. There you go. And go down. So let's get a little rubber with it. There you go. Down. And they fix by itself. Huh? So you see the distance is the same. Now just pushing down a little bit, make the glue expanding. It's right there. And there you go, okay? Remember your area, don't touch it. So everything is clean, clean and clean. Now remember, my job is not make the tools, so I'm not an autoglass tool. So when I show my ideas or my little inventions, it's because if someone wants to take it and make it, make it, it's okay for me. So my business is right there. Put in the glasses, a lot, a lot of job. So that's my business here. So this is just my hobby. So help the other guys. So, so I'm not in the auto glass business. I'm a tools. If someone has to take the ideas like this one, the arm, this one, and try to make it, free to do it, guys. I don't care. So maybe in the future, I'm gonna see these tools and I'm gonna buy it and just test it and see if that'll work. Okay, guys, so we finished here. Uh, they're gonna close the gate anytime, so I gotta go. See you tomorrow. We have more installs and see you more. More and more jobs, you see, I got more tomorrow. I got two Mercedes, um, so I got to work tomorrow. Two Mercedes, uh, Bobo, you know, the C30, the little one, those little short ones. A 6068, remember, is the, I'm gonna show, show you my technique for the wire technique. Um, and that's it, uh, got two, probably four or five more tomorrow. So see you tomorrow, guys.